what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking about a theory that a lot of people have been throwing around for quite some time regarding um, the character of dewey somehow being the mastermind behind not only the events of scream 5 but the events of scream 4 the events of scream 2 the events of scream 3 the events of the original scream now i don't know where exactly this started or why it blew up all over the internet from multiple different places and multiple different people adding their own little spin on it i just don't understand how or why you would find that acceptable first first of all a lot of the people who are coming up with this theory they're coming up with the the motive they have for dewey being the mastermind and plotting to kill sydney and the whole town of woodsboro and setting off these other chain of events is because he he got tired of his sister tatum mocking him and everybody undermining his his work as a cop and not taking him seriously first of all what does that have to do with maureen prescott because if that's his motive what does that have to do with him setting off uh billy and Stu to go kill marine how did he find out about roman who who as we know in scream 3 find out roman was the one responsible for actually setting billy and Stu off on the right track so then you have to sit down and formulate all of these other retcons that you're gonna have to write into the story uh associating how dewey knew of roman he possibly had an affair with marine as well and he there's just a whole lot of stuff you have to have to consider if you're going to sit around throwing throwing around that theory that dewey is the mastermind and in no way shape or form should any of these next killers in scream 5 or scream 6 if they make it none of these killers should be people that are masterminds and they've been here since the beginning none of them should be uh someone who is responsible for all six movies absolutely not now what i will accept is if you see my judy hicks theory my judy hicks theory makes mention of something that happened all the way back to the original film but Ju i don't make judy hicks the mastermind regarding everything i just make judy hicks someone who's been affected by these were these whole i've made judy hicks somebody who's been affected by these films uh and the events that have occurred in the town of woodsboro for quite some time and now she just finally wants some some justice the dewey theorist and these people who are coming up with this theory that dewey is the mastermind they're not they're not coming up with any logical explanation as to why dewey would want to have marine prescott killed why dewey will go out of his way to locate roman why dewey would do any of these things all for the simple fact that the town doesn't take him seriously as a cop that's that's just that's a little bit too much right there that's way too much and that's way too far out there that's a little bit extreme and not to say that this something like that wouldn't happen in real life but come on now if if you honestly turned on the news and you saw that someone had committed some so many crimes such as the events that went on in the screen films and their motive was the the neighborhood and people in their life didn't take them seriously that's ridiculous that's i mean that's years of torment that you've caused people because they didn't take you seriously in your profession i can't i can't buy that and i can't get behind uh dewey being a mastermind of the whole franchise nor would i would i want to see that nor should anyone who is going to sit down and recognize all the inconsistencies in that want to see that dewey cannot be the mastermind behind everything unless and when i say he can't i'm meaning in a logical way you very well could sit down and have somebody who doesn't care about continuity and somebody who's just looking to have a quick cash grab from the screen property sit down and write a script for scream six or scream five looping dewey all the way back around to the first movie putting in all these details that we didn't know about until just now that we know were never true from the beginning but now they're true to fit this narrative that he's been the mastermind this whole time fitting in all these details of how he had contact with roman how he had an affair with marine how he was the one who found out about the relationship between marine and all these other men and he just told roman about it and he told roman what to do then roman told billy and Stu what to do that's just way too much right there that's entirely way too much and i can respect people who are wanting to come up with a mastermind theory 
We already have our mastermind. Our mastermind is Roman Bridger. The franchise has gone beyond part three now. Roman was the mastermind behind the original trilogy. That stuff is more logical than Dewey being the mastermind of six films. And his motive is the fact that no one took him seriously in the town of Woodsboro. And he got tired of his sister Tatum just mocking and making jokes at him. That's that's just way too out there. That's way too extreme for somebody like Dewey, the way he's been presented on screen. And then what I love about the theory is that they say in the reveal, Dewey is going to possibly just just go online and like literally look up some of the things people talk about when it comes to Dewey being the mastermind. I've seen several people make mention of the fact that in the reveal, Dewey could even show that um, he's been acting this way the whole time and he was just trying to throw everybody off no just absolutely not absolutely not no flat out no <laughs> we have a mastermind already in this franchise his name is roman bridger his motive and his reasoning and his connections to everything make more sense than dewey just randomly out of the blue after so many films turning out to be the one who was the puppet master not just behind the whole scream series now you're going back and you're backtracking saying it wasn't roman who was the mastermind it was dewey dewey did this dewey did that dewey was the one who contacted roman dewey was the one who convinced roman to kill marine who told roman about his mother marine who told roman about all this stuff which then led to roman contacting billy and Stu and all this crazy type of stuff that you're just gonna have to wrap your head around and it's not going to make 100 percent sense in the end because where does uh there's just way too many way too many things if you want that theory to make sense you can make it make sense in your head but at the same time you are going to go back and have to do so much rewriting and make the audience believe that this is actually true and we know this is not true and it was never the plan from the beginning roman bridger's motive and his reasoning and him being the mastermind is a little bit more believable simply for the sake of the fact that Roman Bridger wasn't directly tied into what happened after the events of what killed he wasn't directly tied to the events of what happened after he orchestrated or not orchestrated but convinced Billy and Stu to kill Maureen Prescott Roman left town the the Dewey theorist they're saying that Dewey has been here from the very beginning he's been involved with every killing spree he's been involved with all of these little minor details that you are going to have to make sense out of and then i like the support that you guys are coming up with where you're saying oh he always survives he's always surviving ghostface is never killing him if that is the case what is it about dewey that he has so much power what is it about him what is he holding over these people that is making him so powerful why did he then go out after the original scream and go track down mrs loomis and set mrs loomis off and then track down bit track down uh mrs loomis's partner in scream to mickey and have them work together and all of these other things that you are going to have to make sense out of and i don't understand how you guys are coming up with this theory that dewey is the mastermind i don't understand it i can respect it and the ambition that you want to make it work but it simply is not going to work nothing when you sit down and you say dewey is the mastermind and then you start telling me that he was involved with every single killing spree that is less believable compared to roman because again like i made mention of and i'm pretty sure we all are on the same understanding of this if we actually paid attention to the scream movies roman did not have anything to do with the actual ghost face killing sprees roman only had ties to the actual killing of marine prescott after that he left town and didn't and, and went on about his directing career he didn't find out anything about what was going on and what what billy and Stu would end up doing a year later until he became the director of stab three um in scream three when that script landed when he was offered that role to be the director in step to be the director of stab three that is when roman was caught up to speed on everything roman wasn't here making all the arrangements and the the complete mastermind of everything like very hands-on he was the indirect mastermind dewey theorists are making dewey a very hands-on mastermind and directly tying him into everything and saying that he was involved in convincing roman to do this which led to roman convincing billy and then which led to after that because as i mentioned roman left town after he um convinced billy and Stu to kill marine roman left town so then you're gonna have to rationalize why dewey then went out and went after uh mrs loomis and went after mickey 
why did he it's just far too much you're gonna have to wrap your head around i can't <laughs> i my head is hurting just thinking about it i wanted to come on here and just make that video and say that people who believe that dewey is the mastermind best of luck to you with that i can respect it again i find i find that to be very amusing in the end of the day dewey there's there's no way he is the mastermind behind anything if you enjoy this video and you got a good laugh out of it <laughs> Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Dewey is not the mastermind. There's no way he... You, you're going to have to come up with something very, very elaborate that's retconning and contradicting several things that we thought to be true from the beginning that are now going to be true now. And we know this was never the plan. It's not going to make any sense. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.